hello guys welcome back to learning points channel so we are discussing about the full stack application so we'll do a full stack application with JWT authentication and here I am using the Laravel and Angular and inside a folder I have created two separate project one is backend one is frontend so basically inside the backend we have a Laravel application and as a frontend I am using the Angular right so last day we have installed the JWT and configured into our Laravel application and also have created in the Angular site we have created the components that is the login sign up and profile components also a neighbor component so here if I just click on the login its login works basically it is coming from login component same like sign up same like profile so let's design the login page first so first we will create a login from then we'll create a sign up from and we'll sign up user and after that we'll log in and step by step we'll see the profile right so let's start so basically when you click on the login actually this text are coming so if you check inside the front end that is the angular side inside the src app we have a separate components folder so all the components will create inside this okay and we are talking about the login so just go to the login component dot html so here we can see the login works right so here we already installed the bootstrap so we can use the bootstrap so if we just go here and inside the angular json we can see the bootstrap is added so we can use the bootstrap so if you don't see the previous video you can check from my playlist link are provided in the description section so if you just go to the chrome and let's search gatebootstrap.com and just get started and i am searching for simple forms so that we will use the bootstrap from here and just go here and let's copy this okay so just copy this and let's paste here okay so before that i need to create the div so i am just designing simple designing so i am just editing the column 8 and inside this column 8 we want to add some curd so simply write curd so all are basically the um, bootstrap classes so we are using this class to design it better and inside the curd we can set the card header so here is the card header and inside the header i am just going to create the login here right and also we need to save the body section so just write curd body okay and just go inside here and now paste these things so if you now just check this you can see the login here and email address and password okay so just copy from the bootstrap and let's remove the unnecessary things which you have don't need so i'm just removing the checkbox first and just add the email here and simply just use the id as email and here we don't need these things and also we don't need this email help so i'm just removing this and this is for password so simply use this here right and now let's see it's cool okay so it looks good and this is the proper bootstrap we are using this so i am not concentrating about the design part but the basic things which i need i will just use this okay so now for this we need some name so basically we will use this name so for email i am just writing the email this is the name and for password i am using the name equal to password okay so that's it so now just go here so it's simple right so now the next things we need to submit this from so when you click on this submit functions basically it will submit so how we can submit so for this we need to create the ng submit means this is the angular forms event so just write here the ng submit ng in small submit is capital and submit okay 
and let's create a function so when you click on this button basically this function will call so i am creating the submit login okay so i am using the login so i am taking this name so that we can remember which name i have added so now just go inside the typescript file that is the login component dot ts and let's create the functions so function submit login that's it right and i am just providing the unique identification that is i am declaring the id so in angular we don't need to write the id like typing id we need to use the hash right so here i am writing the angular from okay and i am defining this as ng from okay so now just when we click on this that is the fail to compile so what is the error so login component there is error the ng from so we need to declare the ng from first so that we can use this ng from inside here so just go to the login component of ts file and let's use the angular forms so just go here and let's define the from right public and from okay and here just simply define that is email by default it is setting as null and i'm and i'm using the password so by default the password is null okay and let's bind this so if we just go here you can see the name so let's bind this so here just write the ng model so how you can write this so inside the brackets we need to use this so simple write ng model right and just add the name that is from dot email so for email i am using email actually these are created right now so from dot email and from dot password so let's copy these things and paste it here for the password right and just change the name that is the name is password so just use password sorry password so it's binded the from now the next things we need to go to the app module.ts and let's import the ng from so actually we are using the angular from here so we need to import inside the app module.ts so just go here and let's import and the ng from will appear from angular so right here angular so right here angular froms okay and let's add the ng froms right so froms module so where is the froms module module okay so froms module imported and now inside the import section just use this right now if you just go to the browser you can see the error is gone and the login form appear right and after submit this page i want to get the value from this from so how we can we do this so let's go inside the login component.html so this is the submit login so if you just want to get the value from login component.html we can get this from inside this here that is the submit login so inside this just write console dot log and i will get the from so here i have declared this from so simply just write this dot from so we'll get all the from elements from here right now just go to the browser again and let's inspect this and just open in the side and let's go to the console section and i'm typing some things that is name that is john at the rate email.com and password one two three four five six okay and if we just click on this so we are getting the value that is email and password now the thing is if i just remain this email as blank and then now submit this the blank form is submitted 
okay so that should not be so i want to add a front end validation first okay and after that when you just go to the laravel site and i can add the back end validation right so email is exist or not your email or password matches with or not so these have the defined i want to add the front end validation first so when we are not added any email or password that means until we fill all the fields value then this submit will be the disable okay so for this validation the basic things is we need to write here the required right so just simply write required and simply write here the required so now just go here you can see this automatically refreshing and just go to the element section so for now if i just click on this you can see these are showing is ng invalid and if i just type something that is a b c d anything and it's showing the ng valid so based on these things i want to add the validation so how we can add this so simple we can take a check inside here so whenever the from invalid that is the login from here we can see the login from whenever the login from is invalid then it will be remain as disabled so i can use the disabled property so disabled and i will let's add the condition that is whenever login from dot valid that means it's okay but when not valid that time it will applicable the disable okay so i just added this logic so simply just go and test so by default you can see the submit function is not working and if i just anything here that is john at the email.com and password something and now just go to the console and submit this so we are getting the value so if i remove these things automatically it will disable so you cannot submit right so this is simple login page okay so now we need to log in and before login we need to add some user into the database so first we will create the sign up process and after the completion of sign up process we will just go to the login so we will back with the next video so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and comment your opinion on how you like this video so we will do the sign up in the next video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day